Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another declutter for you guys. I know it hasn't been that long <laughs> since I did my last one. I usually do these every like two or three months, um, but it's a new year and I really like to start the new year off kind of on the right foot. And as I was kind of rearranging some things in my collection and looking through what I have, I had quite a few things that I just wasn't using and realistically am not going to use for a variety of reasons. So I decided to do another declutter in January, even though I did one in December, and you'll probably see me do another one again pretty soon. I'm kind of feeling that like need to clear things out. Um, life is like a little chaotic right now. And I think when life gets chaotic, I try to find ways to like streamline other things. So here we are. I'll preface this video by saying anything that I'm getting rid of, if it's expired or if it's garbage, I'll throw it away. Otherwise, I do offer these things to like my friends and family and stuff like that. It doesn't go to waste. I don't want you guys to think that everything that I declutter just goes in the garbage. If I'm able to pass it on, I do. If it's not suitable to be passed on, I don't. So let's dive right in. First off, I have these teeny tiny little beauty blenders or like beauty sponges. I don't use these. I rarely use a beauty sponge, like a regular size beauty sponge. I'm really more of a brush person. I prefer to use a brush to put my foundation on. I prefer to use a brush to put my concealer on. These little ones are usually made to kind of like easily get in underneath of the eye and they're just taking up room in a little basket in my drawer. So I'm gonna pass those along. They're all clean. They could easily, I don't even know if these have ever been used, but I did wash them the last time I washed my brushes just in case. Next, I have this QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. This is a lip serum that we received in a Boxy Lux, I want to say about a year ago. Um, I, I used it like once and never used it again. Uh, aside from the fact that it's just like one more step that I can't seem to remember to do, I also had all this weird stuff going on with that dermatitis with my skin for the last year. So this isn't something I was really looking to introduce into my regimen. I do, however, have a client that is like all the time asking me, what can I do about these lines in my lips? So I think I'll give it to her and she can let us know if it actually works. So definitely going to pass that along to her. I think this was like a pretty expensive item. It re it seems to me when I unboxed this one, I was like shocked at the price. So happy to pass that along to someone else that might actually use it. Next, I have a couple of things that were in last year's Project Pan. If you follow my Project Pan series, you'll probably recognize these. Um, I have this MAC eyeshadow. I don't know the color of it. The color's worn off the back of it, but it's this golden eyeshadow. I used a lot of it. I repressed it. I hit pan again and I'm over it. <laughs> I have so many golds in palettes that I really don't need like a single eyeshadow. I bought this at a time where single eyeshadows were kind of what I was using and now I just really like to be able to reach into a palette that has everything I need and not dig through you know a basket of singles. So I feel I've gotten my money's worth on this one. I've used most all of it. It's just like a very thin layer in the bottom of the pan there. So I am going to throw this one away. It's quite old. I'm not really comfortable giving that to anyone. <laughs> it's like bad enough that I was using it. So that one's going to go in the trash along with this one. So this was the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Liner in the color Smoke Out. This was like the bane of my existence in my <laughs> last project pan. I used almost none of it. And it's kind of to that point now where as I sharpen it, it doesn't really get sharper. It It's like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like wiggly in there. <laughs> so that's an indicator that this has dried out. Uh, so this again is going to go in the garbage. I don't need to use this. It's very short. I used lots of it. Um, definitely got my money's worth, but it's done. And lastly for the trash, I have these three Stila liquid shadows. So these are in my current Shop My Stash. I put them in there because I felt like they were drying out and I wanted to get some use out of them before that happened and uh, we're too late. <laughs> they are completely dried out. So I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, you can see how it's like, yeah, it's dry. And when you open it, like glitter just flies out because it's not liquid anymore. So these are gonna go, I bought them together in a set 
like this a couple of years ago, like a holiday set. So I do have a couple of these still in like full sizes, but I'm probably going to get away from buying these like liquid shadows just because they do seem to dry out before I ever get a chance to use them up. So I think it's like... I can justify having like one or two of these in my collection, but as it stands, including these, I probably have like eight of them. So I think it's time to start working through some of the ones that I have, and these ones are definitely no good to anybody. Okay, I've got a couple more little single shadows. So these are from, um, these are from the Balm. These are little single shadows. I think these came in like an Ipsy bag or something. Uh, I just am never going to reach for these. This is like a really pretty kind of plum color. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And then this is like kind of a shimmery, mauve -y kind of color. Um, really pretty, really cute. I was like, maybe if ever I'm traveling, no, if ever I'm traveling, I'm going to take a palette. I'm not going to take these tiny little single shadows. So I'm going to put these, I have a little box that I keep here at the salon with all of my like decluttered <laughs> beauty products. And I, I let my clients dig through those. So someone will take these, someone will love them. Someone who doesn't have, you know, a hundred eyeshadow palettes will probably think these are great. So, and the other thing is like, I love the Balm as a brand, but I think one thing that they don't necessarily shine at is their eyeshadow formula. I think they do much better with their like complexion products. So I'm gonna pass those along. I'm sure someone will enjoy them. I have this Ciate London Dewy Stick. This is like a cream highlight. I love the idea of this, but this particular shade, it's just, it's really like glittery and I don't love that. If it was just a shine to where you put it on and the skin just looks wet, um, I could really kind of get into that. But this, it might look that way on my hand, but when you put that on the face, it looks like full on glitter. Um, so that's not really for me. I'm just like getting a little old for that. <laughs> my days of like full body and face glitter are definitely done. So I'm going to pass this along. I actually have a client who has a little girl that loves to like play with makeup. And I think she would probably have a ball with that. So I'm going to pass that along. And then I have this other liquid highlight and this is by the brand O2O. And this is their like rose gold liquid highlight and it's just one of those things that it's just sitting in a drawer i've had it forever there's nothing wrong with it it's like a nice shade you know it does actually look really nice kind of on the chest area um, and like on the shoulders in the summer but like truly i never think to use it i'm just not like a body illuminator kind of person and something like this is like a little much for my face so i'm going to pass that one along as well I have a very reflective hand now. It's like I'm just getting rid of all of my cream highlighters. I just, I don't, I haven't found a formula that I love yet. Like these are not it. Um, these are from the brand, the Beauty Crop. Again, I think these might have came in like an Ipsy or something. Um, I've got the color Ibiza and Menorca and they're just, um, they're like a really, really stiff formula. Like they almost feel like they've dried out. So it's like, those are too wet. These are not wet enough. Just want something a little bit more emollient than this. Um, but again, like the packaging is cute. I feel like the little girl would be like, ooh, fun. Cause she's not like wearing it, you know? So I'm gonna pass that along as well. These are just not, just not in my wheelhouse of products that I would use. They've been swatched a couple of times, but never actually worn. And then I've got this, milk makeup mascara so this came as the birthday gift as part of the birthday gift for last year i got the kush mascara the little um blush cream blush stick and like a hydro grip primer sample um and i was really excited to try this a lot of people say that this is an amazing mascara the kush mascara i really like the wand love that wand. It's nice and big. You get really nice separation of the lashes. I love that. However, this transfers like instantly on me. Um, I do, I am a person that has a problem with that. <laughs> if I'm going to have a problem with a mascara, that's the issue that I have. I have oily skin. I have oily lids. Like I'm just oily and <laughs> my makeup tends to, you know, migrate. So if I don't use the right mascara, I end up with like raccoon eyes in five minutes. And with this one here, if I put this on 
by the time I get to work, like within that like 15 minute drive, it's all underneath my eyes. It's up top above like where my eyebrows are, which never happens to me. So I don't know if they have a waterproof formula that might be better, but for me, this just really didn't work. I used it like twice. And I even tried layering my CoverGirl mascara over top of it. I thought if I use this as like a first layer to really nicely separate the lashes because I really like the wand and then put the CoverGirl one over top, I was like, maybe that'll kind of seal things in to where it doesn't transfer. No, <laughs> it didn't. It transferred all over the place. So that mascara is just not for me. Uh, I won't be passing that on because it's a mascara. And then the rest of what I have in here are products that I'm decluttering because they're not cruelty free and I'm not in love with them. I am in 2020, I made the decision that I was going to purchase only cruelty free products as best that I can. I've done my very best. Sometimes it's hard, especially during the pandemic, it's been difficult. Sometimes you can't get the hand soap that you need or whatever. I've really tried hard to stick to that. And so now in 2021, I feel like I've got a really good grasp on my sort of core products that are cruelty free. Um, I'm branching out now more into like my lifestyle things. I'm trying to buy more cruelty free, like laundry detergents and cleaning supplies and you guys know I did like the toothpaste and all that sort of stuff so I'm trying really hard to like do my part um, so in 2021 I really want to focus on using up some of the products that are in my collection that are not cruelty free the ones that I love if I love them and they're not cruelty free well I've already spent the money so I don't I don't think the answer is to just throw them away and be wasteful but if I have products in my collection that are not cruelty free, that I'm not using because I don't really care for them, why am I keeping them in my collection, right? So that was sort of my mentality behind these last few items. So I've got a couple of little like bronzer blush sets here. I've got this Elizabeth Arden uh, trio. This is, the palette doesn't have a name, but it's got two blushes and a highlighter, it says. Um, more like two blushes and a bronzer but anyway this is just like nothing to get excited about I used it on my skin today I kind of had everything in like a chopping block situation where I was like I'll try some of these things like one more time just to see like maybe I do love them and I just don't remember I have the bl this blush on I think the blush is really pretty everything else in this palette really doesn't show up too much on my skin tone and I'm very fair so I feel like if this doesn't show up on me who is it showing up on um, I mean, I think we got it there. I did use this as a bronzer today and I did get it there, but I really had to build it up and I just like wasn't excited about using this. So and Elizabeth Arden isn't cruelty free. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm sure I have someone in my life that would be thrilled to have this. I have a couple of ladies in particular that I'm thinking of that are even more fair than I am that would probably find this to be very complimentary on their skin tone. So I'm going to pass that along. And then I've also got this Hikari um quad same kind of thing it's got like a bronzer a blush and a couple of like highlights or you could swirl your brush in it and use all four colors i don't like products like this i just want separate pans <laughs> like if this was four separate colors in like a quad i might be more inclined to use it but because it's like this it's really hard to like just get your brush in that or just get your brush in that. And I don't love the look of all these swirled together. It's like too warm and too deep for my skin tone. So for that reason, I'm gonna pass that along as well. And then lastly, I've got three lip glosses in here. Now, none of these have been worn. <laughs> these were all either like gifts with purchase or gifted to me by someone else but then never actually used this one's even still sealed on the side so i've got a revlon one i've got i think this is a revlon as well and then this is a rimmel lip gloss none of these are cruelty free and none of these are colors that i care about so i'm just going to pass them along to someone else I have other lip glosses in my collection and I have other lip glosses that I'd really like to try that I don't want to buy until I use up what I have. So for that reason, I'm going to pass those along as well. So, so that's my little declutter for the day. That's actually like quite a bit for me. Usually I have like maybe six or seven items. I have quite a few things here. That's why I decided not to wait till like the two month period that I usually do. I had enough here that I don't like my declutter videos to be super long either. So. 
I just decided, and I have a couple of those clients in this week that I thought might like some of these things. So I just decided now was the time, clear the things out, make room for new. I love the feeling of a good declutter. It really just like brings peace to my soul. It makes me feel so good in a time that's so chaotic <laughs> when I can just get rid of a few things and then have everything look so nice and organized in my little drawers. It just brings me peace, brings peace to my soul. So love that for me. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are of the same mind. Do you find you're in the mood to do a declutter when the new year comes? I've also been kind of looking in my closet like what could I get rid of? I don't know there's something about that new year fresh start sort of vibe that makes me want to you know clear things out. So let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you guys. Do you have any of these products? Do you have these? Did they dry out really fast? I'd love to hear from you guys down below. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.